It's like you said, Cody's the more quiet one. Yeah, things like that. But Cody actually talks a lot on the field once you really, once you really get pads on. He helps. He helps me with a lot of things. Starting to play a little bit of outside, so he's helping me with that. Him and Kofi, you know, things like that. Basically, the whole wide receiver crew. You know, we went to the movies a couple of days ago. Just, just bonding time and you know, just being around each other more, trusting each other more, is building us a lot. How do you feel as a junior now? Kind of trying to teach the younger guys and I know coach was saying that you said to him the other day that you felt like you came in with uh, not the best attitude and that that's changed for you can you talk about that growth um especially coming out of high school you know you always got that that edge about yourself that I, you know I'm, I'm good and things right. like that but once you get to college you know everybody's good and everybody's doing the same thing you're doing everybody's speed the same and and when you once you get to college it's even more smarter so you got to be smarter than them to get to where they got to get to before you get there things like that, you know, just a lot more film work, basically. Shane, do you have any Do you have any wide receivers who you kind of try to emulate? I keep thinking of the Colts. Marvin Harrison was a was a small guy, and he had a long NFL career. Um, actually, I have a lot of mentors. You know, Tay again, Jr. went to my high school. He helps me out a lot. Um, as crazy as it sounds, Joe Hayden helps me out a lot, too, even though he plays cornerback. But most of the time, it's really just Tay again, Jr., I wonder if any of the kids on campus ever mistake you for someone on the gymnastics or, or soccer teams or something. Or if you say, <laughs> hey, no, I'm a football player. Man, no, everybody knows who I, uh, who I am, basically, because I play around a lot of things like that. You know, I'm always the energy builder, and I just always like to have fun and stuff like that. What's the goofiest thing you think you've ever done in the locker room or like a prank you pulled?